I want to play the PC version of Star Wars Battlefront 2 again. You know, the good one. But it's really difficult to play this on modern hardware. On Windows 10, I spent multiple hours trying to get it to work, and it seemed that no matter what I did, it just kept on crashing. I've tried using Windows 7 and XP virtual machines on VirtualBox, XP didn't work, and though I got the game to run on Windows 7, the mouse pointer falls out of frame despite my best efforts. On Linux, I used a kernel-based virtual machine of Windows 7, but I needed a dedicated GPU for it to work and GPU pass-through is a huge pain and rabbit hole to go down to begin with. GOG and Steam versions of old games like this one tend to work well in newer hardware and operating systems without much effort, but I didn't want to pay to play a game I already have, even though it's relatively cheap to do it that way, so that's why I'm going through this trouble. Nothing really beats original hardware, and this old computer, assuming I get it working, should be able to run Battlefront 2 without any issues. Here are the computer specs. And here's the requirements for the game. This Windows Vista computer was the family home computer from 2007 to 2013. Then we upgraded to a Windows 8 laptop. About a year ago I tried getting this to work for a video, but for some reason it tried booting into Windows XP despite me knowing that this was a Vista computer and it wouldn't fully boot at that. I was really confused on what to do. The easiest solution I read was to reinstall Vista, but I thought you needed an official Vista install disk, which I do not have. <laughs> no, I don't intend on making it look the way it was when it was new, more so I just want it to be functional. As functional as Vista was. Fortunately, the DVD drive works. Kinda. I think this is being possessed. No, no, don't do that. I did manage to get the DVD in though. Once it did get installed, I used WinCDMU so I could use an ISO file of this game instead of relying on this. Installation worked perfectly. One problem. This. Oh my god, <laughs> it performs like garbage. Your simulation days are over, Trooper. I decided to try installing Windows XP instead, but it didn't have any sound, and I didn't feel like searching for drivers when Vista worked better by default. And it turned out the operating system wasn't the problem at all. I just needed an updated NVIDIA graphics driver. Third party drivers not working well with Vista is one large reason why Vista was hated so much in the first place. Now that this game was installed with mods, I felt I should upgrade the setup. I went to a couple thrift stores and a computer repair shop and got some goodies. I ordered a replacement power brick for the speakers and since I got it they work great. I got two DVD drives, one is DVD-ROM, the other has some other features. The DVD-ROM drive works great, look how snappy that is. This one opens and closes fine, but can't read discs. I should have swapped rubber bands between these two, since they're nearly identical drives, but I forgot. And it's all buttoned up now and I don't feel like it. This black PS2 keyboard was really dusty. After cleaning it with alcohol and removing some keys to clean as much as possible, looks great. The last thing I got was a graphics card made in 2011. I thought it wouldn't fit, but I'm actually just dumb as hell. <laughs> I just had to unscrew the screw and at first I thought it didn't work, then I just realized I had to enable the PCIe slot to be used as the primary graphics device in BIOS. After finding the driver, the computer works even better than before. So yeah, this is my Vista PC. I thought this was pretty fun to do. Maybe at a later time I'll do some maintenance on it like capacitor replacement, new thermal paste and such, but for now it works like a charm as charming as Vista was.